Hey hackers, Blue Cosmer from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. I am finally here to answer the question of the pink USB drive. What is this thing? How does it work? If you guys are somehow unfamiliar with the USB drive, so basically there's hidden malware on this flash drive and there's a folder that acts as a shortcut and will run that malware. So if I were to plug this into someone's computer, nothing's gonna happen because it relies on user error, which is why it's pink, right? So if I want to drop this on the floor, I want someone to see it, pick it up, put in their computer, they see a folder, and when they click on the folder, it's gonna run that hidden malware, right? It is basically a, I guess my rubber ducky before I actually had a USB rubber ducky. Now, if you don't know what the USB rubber ducky is, it is a cybersecurity tool created by Hack5, and it basically pretends to be your keyboard, right? And anything your keyboard can do, this thing can do. So let me show you guys how to make this thing, right? So we are now on my screen and I'm going to plug in the USB drive. So we're gonna open up our file explorer. And if you scroll down here, you can see a USB drive, right? This is the pink USB. All right, so it's time to actually start developing the system that makes the pink USB work as it does. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click and make a new folder, right? Now this folder, you can call it literally whatever you want because the user is not going to see it. So I'm going to just call it payload. Sweet. So we can open up our payload uh, folder and then in here, we're going to make a new document or a new text document. Now we're going to highlight the whole thing and delete it because we can't use the .txt extension because this is going to be a text file. This right here would be whatever malware you're going to do. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make a basic hello world. Um, CMD file, but you can literally put whatever program you want in here and it will run if the user were to click on a folder, right? And I'll show you guys. So we are going to just call this payload.cmd and then we are going to edit it in our uh, text editor, which is going to be a notepad. And then for this, you know, basic hello world payload, we're just going to do a echo hello world. All this does is output the words hello world onto the screen. And then we can simply pause as we can wait to close it. Wait, so we can X out of this and save it. And we're gonna go back to our drive. Now what we're gonna do is right click, hit new, and we're gonna make a shortcut. Now we are basically gonna have the shortcut to the malware that's on the drive. So we're gonna go hit browse, then go to the USB drive, the payload, and then the payload.cmd or whatever file you chose to put in there. We'll go ahead and hit next. The name for the shortcut, we're going to call it whatever the folder name is going to be. So we can just call this uh, secrets, right? And hit finish. So now we have a secrets payload. What we can do now is right click on our secrets, go on properties, and on the shortcut tab, you will see a change icon button. We're gonna click that change icon, hit okay. And then we're just gonna make it a folder. Now there's a folder right here, which is perfect. So we'll just hit the folder, hit okay, apply, okay. And now we can see our secrets now has a, a folder icon. So all we would have to do is go to our payload, right click it, hit properties, click hidden, hit apply, okay, okay. Now, if you know we have our hidden items off as it would be, all we can see in here is a secrets folder, right? Now, if we were to double click the secrets folder, it runs that payload.cmd. All right, sweet. So I just ejected it from my computer and now it's done, right? So now it will run whatever pay, um, custom malware you put onto the drive. So let's say someone finds this pink mysterious USB drive on the ground, right? They go ahead, plug it into their computer, open up our file explorer and go to our USB drive. They see a secrets folder and as soon as they click it, the folder or the malware is being ran. So whatever custom malware you wanna put on here, whatever programs you wanna put on here. So that's the secret to the pink USB drive. Hopefully that kind of answered your guys' questions about this mysterious pink USB drive. Hopefully you guys were able to make it something your own and do something cool with it. Put some other cool, um, you know, exe files in there other cmd files vbs whatever um get creative with it um encourage and send me a dm send me or put something in the self promo section of our discord server so i can definitely check out some of the cool stuff you guys may have done with this as well anyways that's going to be it for this video hopefully you guys liked it 
maybe leave a subscribe and that whole type of thing. But I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.